Let's go. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's go. We're not Jamaica, boy. We're not Jamaica now. We're not. Ja Skadesh, what one? Bless up, bless up all my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world. Hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. May I come to Jamaica now, sir? Them ban me from Jamaica. Okay, so Ayok Tien is currently out of Jamaica as his name called once again in the Klansman Wandan trial. Yes, people, so earlier Ayok Tien did that live saying that they ban him from Jamaica. I don't know if we could take that serious still because you know Ayok Tien, him always a whole of vibes and a run joke with his fans. But after, you know, once again, we see Ayok Tien name being called in the Klansman Wandan trial when a witness testifies. Ayok Tien agreed to help gangster flee Jamaica. It's like Right now, we see some people, they may wonder if they may go take Ayoctean visa, they may wonder if Ayoctean in a big trouble, you know, over all of this, if they may go run investigation. However, we now wish bad for no man still, and we do see Ayoctean come out and speak like the first time when his name mentioned. But anyway, Ayoctean went live last night and we see some people were bashing him. You know, it's like some people are saying a bag of things how oh, Ayoctean involved in uh, criminal activities. But Ayoctean was definitely keeping it positive. Me guarantee a lot of people who were on the live last night believe that Ayoctean was gonna address the matter about the trial as his name mentioned once again. But Ayoctean was just promoting his upcoming album set to drop the 18th of next month I am great with this new song right here sorry all of my heart more than words can explain from you not deserve it I'm sorry okay so Queen's flip after getting jump in Jamaica he clapped back getting his payback right here at Ding Dong on camera. Yes, people, and this is nothing personal or anything like that. What's up? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so a lot of the fans them laughing over Queen's flip page after seeing this one when in post, y'all jump me in Jamaica, but here I slap pizza out your hand, ding dong. I'm always gonna get payback. Ding dong reply to Queen's flip saying, You a punk, don't think about coming back to Jamaica again. <laughs> yeah, people, so it's like a thing I go on between Ding dong and Queen's flip. You see me? You know, it's like when Queen's flip and Ding dong I do this, the people them in the restaurant look on them face, it's like them shock. I wonder who I go go on. <laughs> Yes, people, so Ding Dong and Queen's Flip entertaining social media fans right here. Okay, so moving along, the next topic, dancehall artist Tamili Sparta has been discharged from the hospital after getting treatment for serious injuries. So, now, a lot of people are wonder what could have caused this, me see. Some people are saying that it is because of Ivani, you know, a song we get put out where them claim family write it fear and a voice note we see a circulate and from week we are hear that rumor you know we see it a go around and today we see something get post over pink wall from an inmate who was present at the time of the beating you know said that on the day of the beating more than 10 officers appeared at Tommy Lee's cell and questioned him about a voice note and a song. Remember, a good while now we see people at talk about this song where Ivani have out a this towards, you know, another social media influencer, which is D, you know, it's like people are say a Tommy Lee write it for based on the voice note where them here a go run. Yeah, people, so it's like the inmate say them use button you know and broom for beat tamili in a himself you know and all of this are allegation people and them say when tamili drop on the ground it's like them start to use them feet and you know 
all over him you see me so uh, that's why Tommy Lee look like him couldn't move at all you know you could tell that him in a whole heap of pain when he was on the stretcher heading in towards the hospital building so if uh, that are the case me don't know if them want Tommy Lee about something before and it just outbursts like this to me it seems like this a uh, come off as something you see me but as for Tamili in this case right here we see him lawyer speak and Indicom uh, investigate the alleged altercation with the warders. Ok so Shensia give Vibes Cartel credits saying that Vibes Cartel influence her sound. One of the artists that influence my sound is Vibes Cartel because I always tell myself what is it that he would say on a track when he's writing. I feel like he's such an amazing writer and he is one of my top influences when i'm writing my music i like to challenge myself so i always listen his music what he would come with some type of punch lines that he would put in his songs it's just always crazy so big up vibes cartel all right so from shensia right there well honestly speaking vibes cartel have an influence have a strong influence on many of these artists we see nowadays you know and the way how they sound and the way how they write yeah enough of them get them writing skills you know from vibes cartel the flow and everything people when you listen to the song them from the set of artists them nowadays oh no i got member vibes cartel because first enough of the lines with them using of them song enough of the flow are the same thing with vibes cartel been there done that you know so now for the things them them get from Vibes Cartel and Shensia right here, you know, she has a Vibes Cartel influence her sound. Not saying that Shensia don't have PR own unique sound, you know. Now for the artists, them have for them own sound, but some of them, them get something from not only Vibes Cartel, you have other artists out there, you know, who them learn from. But me I tell you, majority of them, especially for the newer set of artists nowadays learn from Vibes Cartel. Remember, you know, from the early 2000s come right up. Vibes Cartel never ease up at all. You see me? Lyrics, back of lyrics, different flow upon top of flow. And, you know, enough of them artists here. Yeah, a school them did in at that time. A beat decks and them things there. And you know, have to ask if them never listen to Vibes Cartel because. Before Vibes Cartel, it was Bunty, Beanie, Bling Dog, Wade Marshall and them artists, the sham. You see me? So, Vibes Cartel definitely come change the game, especially for the new set of artists, them we are boss now. You see me? Yes, people. So, big up Vibes Cartel. Big up Shensia, same way. Remember, Shensia album set to drop next month you see me coffee album set to release in that same month as well and earlier in this vlog we reveal it ayotin set to drop his album same way you see me yeah people so big up all of the artists them we plan for release them album this year you know we are gonna see how them are gonna turn out we hope we get some decent songs you see me we are look for some songs we can go international some crossover songs you see me and me definitely I look out for coffee album you know me not go lie me anticipate that album out of most of the albums me see set to release you see me so coffee we are look forward what to drop from that gifted album yes people bless up bless up all my viewers all my subscribers out there guidance stay safe until next time i'm out don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet